Hey friends, today is the week of three builds that we have to get done. Um, I'm gonna include this one in a build because today we're gonna be doing, as we're gonna pop in that empty space right there, something that our friends from EK Water Block sent over, which is the custom water block for either the RX 5700 or the 5700. XT and um, since we actually already did a video of overclocking the 5700 with the power play tables and there's been a bajillion videos on the 5700 XT being overclocked I really want to mess around more with the less uh, discussed brother the RX 5700 so we're going to be water cooling this with the custom water block that EK sent over as well as the back plate so we're going to have everything going there um, and we're going to put it in this system and get the testing done to see was our hindrance last time when we did the power play table overclocking on the 5700. Was it the cooling or is it just simply our card cannot go any higher? Because if we can match stock 5700 XT performance with some cooling enhancements, well then we finally got a card that's better than what we bought. That's, that's the way I'm looking at it anyways. So we're gonna get to installing the water block, installing it, testing it and everything after I tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's video is actually brought to you by Honey. You wanna know what Honey is? It's the easiest way that you can save money on the internet. Have you ever purchased something on a website and then realized, oh man, there was this coupon. I could have saved money. Well, it happens to me all the time and that's why I got Honey to make sure that I'll never miss out on the deal again. So if you go to joinhoney.com forward slash UFD tech, it takes two clicks to install the browser extension that searches for the best deals and then applies them for you automatically. You basically have to do nothing besides get it installed first time and then you're off to the races and you can even use it on Linus Tech Tip store in case you're trying to pick up some of their merch like I have once in a blue moon anyways you can check out honey down below at the link as I mentioned and you can join our subscribers that have saved over fourteen thousand dollars by using this extension it's super easy there's no reason not to use it it's gonna save it's basically free money that you're getting back to yourself by using this browser extension. It's amazing. And best of all, you can use it at a wide ranging amount of shops. You've got, you've got the likes of Newegg, you got Best Buy, you got GameStop, you got Amazon, all the places that you would go shopping, Honey works on. So check them out down below and get started. Two clicks, then you're off to the races of Money Saver. Okay, so it's time to get to the 5700. We're actually gonna be doing this in a beauty build that we're gonna be doing in collaboration with Lee and Lee. I can't actually really talk about that just yet, but that is going to be happening some point soon. So I need to get this ready in preparation for that. And I obviously have the benefit of being able to check it out on the power play tables as well. So there's a couple of reasons why we actually want to um, do this mod on the 5700 as opposed to the XT. Okay, so we have the cooler off. Just need to disconnect the fan. Probably shouldn't do it like this, but uh, okay. when you're screwed up, you just gotta commit. You, you wiggle on out. Good girl, good girl. Okay, so um, one of the good things that AMD does is they use a thermal pad on the Navi cards as far as water cooling it, so it makes it pretty easy because there's not a whole lot of thermal material left on the GPU die. So that's gonna be pretty easy to clean off with the alcohol that we're gonna use all right, that's pretty decently cleaned off. Let's go ahead and open up the water block. All right, here's the IO shield that we're gonna need to replace, then all of the screws that we're gonna need, as well as the thermal pads that have to be installed. And then, of course, the water block itself. And that's just gonna pop a squat right, right on there. Sort of, kinda. Just about like that, like. That's gonna look good, especially with that back plate. I'll tell you what. So, uh, thermal pad time. Lightly cover, it says. Great, good job, Brett. You did a bang up job of lightly covering that GPU die. Fantastic. That's gonna be X for me, Doug. I love cleaning up thermal paste poorly. I'm doing, I'm doing all of the right things because I don't have any of the right tools to do this. Stakes have been made. I have bad ability to apply thermal paste, Reese. Sounds about right. Wow, rude. All right, that'll be whatever. It'll, it won't die, hopefully. All right, let's take off this front IO shield and uh, make sure that we can get the single slot on there so it can be a single slot card. And even though they're not sponsoring this video, I'm super thankful that iFixit actually gave us the, uh, the toolkits to actually get all of this done because it makes my life easier. 
knowing that I have all of the right tools here. Okay, so you go with the original block. Get on over here. New block. Oh, that's lovely. I just stuck the screw in the display port. Fantastic. Ventismo. Okay, great. All right, I've actually never installed a backplate before on uh, for, for EK water cooling. So I hope that I do it after I install the GPU block, which is what I would think is a normal use case, uh, but not necessarily any guarantees on that. I doubt this is how you're supposed to do it, but this is easier for me. So that goes there. Okay, I want you to go through there. So you stay down. Then we have most of that all set up. Why are you not? Okay, okay. All right, all right. It looks like we got positioning. I can see alignment on all of the holes that I'm gonna to need to uh, throw these screws into, so it should be pretty good. Ah, uh, starting in the middle and then going outwards. See, that makes sense. That, that makes sense. Okay, so that's everything for the GPU right there. That is looking pretty dang sexy. Now it's time to figure out how to do the backplate. Probably should have looked that up as well, but let's go ahead and get it done now. Ooh, look at that sexy, sexy backplate. Oh, yes. Doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's supposed to go that way. Okay, great. So where there's a screw there, a screw there, a screw there, a screw there, and a screw there. Okay, so do I have to unscrew the ones? Okay, so I also need to get thermal pads up in here. And you just attach the thermal pads to the back plates. Thank you, good sir. Okay, so we need to get rid of that screw, that screw, that one, those two, and that one. Let's just double check. Clear, 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 and clear. Great, fantastic. All right, now we have the mounting hardware over here. Oh, I could have used the it's other screws instead of opening up this packet, but that'll be okay. There we go, water block is done. That back plate certainly is sexy. Okay, now it's gonna be time to install it in the Corsair case just to get it preliminarily done. Um, I mentioned that this is going into another build. So uh, practically speaking, we're just gonna be doing soft tubing for right now because it's gonna be a quick uh, testing day, not something that's gonna be uh, all that permanent. So let's go ahead and get that done. I put a thermal pad in the wrong place. Lecker, that's a stain on humanity. Okay, the RX 5700 is installed in the system, but I made an oopsie. In an attempt to be cute and bottom mount the pump right here, I don't know if you guys can tell anything, but uh, there's no snowball's chance in heck that I'm gonna be able to get the fluid into the system, which is why I just decided to use the pre-made cut lengths of the tube that I have, because in order to fill the system, what your boy is gonna have to do up in here is, uh, first of all, take this thing out. If I'm gonna be able to, there we go. Take out the 5700 and just leave it right here while we fill up the tube, and then once it's full, put it back in. So that's fun. I made, I tried to be cute, but I'm disassembling this like as soon as this project's done anyway, so I don't need to have this at all be relevantly good. So we're gonna get all of the fluid set up. We're gonna hit a camera on this in case I screw something up horribly. Yay. Also, just to trigger everybody even further, we have an excess of green fluid, and I know it's a AMD card, so let's just uh, go ahead and fill this puppy up. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Why did I decide to use the Philly bottle? Oh yeah, pee on in there. You got it, friend. Oh, it's gonna take forever this way. Oh, don't do that to me, 5700. Okay, screw this. Also, the system's gonna actually power on when I turn on the power switch. So hopefully nothing leaks. Okay, awesome. All right, switch that oh. and go. I love it. Let's turn it off. Nothing's leaking so far, but also nothing made it to the radiator. All of the fans are working, so that's good. Let me just give a little bit more. That looks mostly okay. No GPU installed, obviously, so it's having a hard time. Gotta get the RGB installed, because obviously water cooling doesn't work without that. RGB connector is on. Let's get this graphics card in there. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's in there, which is one way to say. I'm not sure at all. That's looking fine. And let's try that again. 
Water block turns on. Looks like everything's posting fine. The cables are just, you know, in a weird position. Tubing, rather. That's not a half bad looking system. Although the front RGB fans need to turn on. <sighs> oh, okay, hello, cable. Okay, now it's time for testing. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing rocking. All right, friends, I have bad news, and it appears that our RX5700 is not thermally limited whatsoever. It is just hard limited and we cannot get any higher. Actually, no, that's not exactly true. I've actually been able to squeeze out an extra 25 megahertz from this little bad boy right here. Oh, this gorgeous little thing. Uh, we did have a couple issues. Apparently the mounting of the GPU wasn't good enough on this PCI Express slot to kind of get it firm connection all the time. So the PC kept resetting. So I had to use this extension, which meant that I didn't have to loop it like an idiot and we totally could have filled it. And I totally forgot that we could do vertical GPU mounts at the time. So double oopsie in this video. It's, it's great. Anyways, no matter where I set the voltage curve, no matter what frequency I have everything set up to, um, we just cannot get be beyond 1925. So no matter uh, what happens, it's, it's a mess. Oh, and I mentioned that this was supposed to be going in another build. Well, that's because I forgot that we were supposed to receive this one, which is, an amazing EK block. This one's great. I love this one. And you'll see the thermals are actually quite good as soon as uh, Reaver Tuner wants to work for me. But uh, this one, my friends, we have the special edition RX 5700 block, which I'll be putting on our 5700 XT. Look at how sexy this is. This, this lights up. This is, this is lit up. It's gorgeous. That's neither here nor there. What is here is waiting for Reva Tuner to show up and show me the thermals just so I can show you guys how much better it is. Because we were in the, what was it, the 60 to 75 range when we had the, um, the stock cooler going at 100%, which isn't great. It's also not bad. 100% fan speed though is ridiculously loud. This one, noise is manageable. I don't have any of the fans set up properly. It's all set to manual, but we'll see right now that we're actually running in the 30 to 40 degrees Celsius region on the 5700. And that's quite respectable for just a 240 slim radiator going on here. Yeah, 43 degrees Celsius, 100% load with it being overclocked with the 90% limit, 150 watts right here, 1825 megahertz, 45 degrees Celsius. This block is performing quite admirably. I love it. For gaming, this would be amazing. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna water cool my system at home. I'm gonna steal this, but 45 degrees Celsius, 46, we're hitting probably 50 at peak, if that. And that, I mean, it's not cold in this office. This is doing great, I love it. So unfortunately though, this is the best performance that we're gonna be getting out of our 5700 running 1825, 1850 megahertz, uh, even though it's set to 1925 in uh, Radeon settings, the game clock just does a little bit worse. So 5700, it's cool, it's amazing, it's running great. It's just unfortunately not gonna get us any more on the power play tables, which I guess is good because then that would mean that we could get 5700 XT level performance out of a 5700, which would make XT obsolete and not necessarily, but it just appears that we don't have as good of a card. I did get a couple of comments in the previous video where we messed with the power play tables that some of our viewers have actually been able to get over two gigahertz on their 5700. It just appears that we are not in that, that lucky few who can get that. So. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not gonna mess with this too much more, but the EK water block looking sleek performs admirably less than 50 degrees Celsius on this card. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, I actually am gonna water cool a few more things around here. We have a few videos coming out this week, which I mentioned our builds. Um, we have one partnered with MSI, and then we have the Lee and Lee build that I mentioned, which is partnered with EK as well. So uh, stay tuned for all of that. And don't forget about today's video sponsor. Honey, Honey brought you this video. Don't forget that. Don't forget you're saving money by going to joinhoney.com forward slash UFD deck. Don't save, go save that money. Install it in two clicks, save the cash. Okay, with that being said, hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed more of this casual me water cooling my 5700 video. Down below in the comments, let me know what you thought. Uh, get subscribed to UFD tech, stay up to date on all of our tech related content. I'm Brett, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm done.